how to calculate reactions, why reactions are so important in civil, structural, and mechanical engineering. In this tutorial, you will learn four easy steps to work out reactions in a three-pin frame. In all structures, it is important that load is transferred from all the way from roof to foundation. And the way we can find out how much load is being transferred is through reactions. That's the reason reactions are so important. Hey friends, if you're new here, I am Dr. Javed Qureshi, a senior lecturer at a London university. On this channel, we explore technical and human skills to help us lead more productive, happy and examine life. How to find reactions for a three pin frame. In this tutorial, I'm going to cover reactions for a three pin frame. Let us see how we can work out these reactions. This is part 30 of lecture series on structural mechanics. For other parts, please have a look at the link down below. I have to calculate reactions for this three pin frame. Here, there are pins at A, B and E. And as you would see that there are four reactions here at pin, we will have two reactions. This is a statically determinated structure and I'm going to prove in a minute how is it a statically determinated structure. But the problem is we have four reactions here and there are only three equilibrium equations. And I'm going to tell you a four step strategy on how to solve for reactions for this kind of a frame. First, let us have a look if this is statically determinate or indeterminate. Statically determinate structures are the one which we can solve using equilibrium equations. And there are three equilibrium equations, summation of horizontal forces equal to zero, summation of vertical forces equal to zero, and summation of moment equal to zero. Formula for working out SI is equal to M plus R minus F minus 2J where M is number of members. Here we have one, two, three, and four members. So SI is equal to four plus R. R is number of rigid joints, including supports. We just have two rigid joints. One is D, other is F minus F. This F is roller releases and there are no roller supports. So this F is going to be zero minus two times J. J is number of joints excluding supports. A and B are supports. So we just have D, E and F. So we have three joints. So I will say two times three. So if you sum this up, you get six minus six and SI is zero. When static indeterminacy is zero, it means that we can solve this structure using equilibrium equations. If a static indeterminacy is more than zero, then that structure is termed as statically indeterminate structure. And this is determinate. Now you might be thinking if SI is less than zero, then what happens? When SI is less than zero, then a structure is a mechanism or a failure. That kind of a structure cannot be analyzed. If you put this structure in a software, you will almost certainly get error and you will not get any results at all. So SI less than zero is failure or mechanism. Let's now work out how we can find reactions for this three pin frame using this four step strategy that I mentioned earlier. How to calculate reactions at support for three pin frame. This is the frame I would like reactions for. The sign conventions which I will use is upward forces are positive, rightward forces are positive, and clockwise moments are positive. There are four reactions here, horizontal and vertical at A and horizontal and vertical at B. But the trouble here is that we only have three equilibrium equations, summation of horizontal forces equal to zero, summation of vertical forces equal to zero, and summation of moment equal to zero. So what do we do now? How to find out reactions? My strategy will be to find out summation of moment at A first. That will give me vertical reaction at B and summation of moment at B. This will give me reaction at A, vertical reaction at A. And then I will find out summation of moment at E, left side equal to zero. This will give me HA. Summation of moment at E, right side is equal to zero. That will give me HB. And I will verify results for first two steps using summation of vertical forces equal to zero. And I will verify results for three and four step by saying summation of horizontal forces equal to zero. 
here the key thing is that moment at a pin is going to be zero pin is e and in that way i'll be able to isolate it into left side and i'll be able to isolate this into right side when i isolate to left side it will give me ha when i isolate it to right side it will give me hp let us now work out reaction vb if i plot a free body diagram of the frame it will look like this the summation of moment at a is equal to zero a is at this point as you can see that h a is just at a point and v a is at a as well they don't have any perpendicular distance that's the reason moment is going to be zero moment is equal to force times perpendicular distance so force is v a perpendicular distance is zero force is h a perpendicular distance is zero that's the reason it will not give me any moment at this point the next is 20 kilo newton 20 kilo newton will create a moment with respect to a and that will create clockwise moment because it's a clockwise moment you will get 20 times 2 and then i have this total load due to udl udl was 10 kilo newton per meter the length on which it is spread is 6 so 10 times 6 will give me 60 kilo newton so 60 times the perpendicular distance is 3 and again this is creating a clockwise moment with respect to point a that's why you can see it is positive then i had inclined load at g and i have converted inclined load into two components the horizontal component is 10 cos 45 and i'm considering angle with respect to the horizontal 45 that's why you can see horizontal component is 10 cos 45 if you were considering angle with vertical then horizontal component will be 10 sine 45 so 10 cos 45 now this is creating anti-clockwise moment with respect to a and the distance between 10 cos 45 and point a is this distance which is two meters and that's why i've written two and this vertical component 10 sine 45 will also create a moment and that will be anti-clockwise moment as well and the distance between this vertical load 10 sine 45 and a is this entire distance which is six meters that's why you will see that i've written six meters hp is the horizontal load it is lying at the same point as a so that's why it is zero if the level of point a and b was different then this will create a moment as well and then i have vb that's a vertical load and the distance between b and a is six remember that that is perpendicular distance and that is creating anti-clockwise moment that's why i have negative if i simplify this i get 40 from 60 times 3 i get 180 and from 10 cos 45 into 2 i get 14.14 from 10 sine 45 into 6 i get 42.42 and divided by 6 the value of reaction is 27.24 it is positive it means that my assumed direction of upward reactions is fine the second step is calculation of VA. And now I will isolate the diagram again, but here my focus is on VA. And I'm going to work out summation of moment at B equal to zero, and that will lead to calculation of VA. Starting from B, HB and VB, they will create zero moment because there is no perpendicular distance. Then I will move to 10 cos 45. 10 cos 45 will create anti-clockwise moment with respect to b that's the reason it is negative and the distance between g and b is two meters you can see two meters here and 10 sine 45 on the other hand it is lying at the same point there is no perpendicular distance between this vertical load and b that's the reason i have not even written it over here then 60 kilo newton 60 kilo newton is creating anti-clockwise moment with respect to b 60 times 3 and then i have 20 kilo newton this 20 kilo newton is creating a clockwise moment with respect to b that's why it is positive 20 times 2 h a it is at the same point as b it will not generate any moment v a is vertical load the distance between a and b is 3 plus 3 6 and this is creating a clockwise moment with respect to b that's why it is positive if you bring all these values on other side of equation you get 40 from here you get 180 from here 
and you get 10 cos 45 into 2 divided by 6 and from here you get value of reaction as 25.69. Now we have values of vertical reaction at A and B. We will verify these values. The forces which are acting in vertical direction are VA, VB and I have 10 sine 45 they are upwards. So these three forces are going to be positive. The downward force is only 60 kN, so 60 kN is negative. If you sum them up, you get zero over here. When summation of vertical forces is equal to zero, this means that the reactions VA and VB, they are fine. Third step is to calculate horizontal reaction at A. For working out horizontal reaction at A, I will say ME left side is equal to zero. And then I will isolate everything on the left side of E. And this is the free body diagram. Moment at internal pin is always zero. Remember, pins cannot take any moment at all. This diagram can be shown like this. When I have 10 kN spread over 3 meters, I will say 10 times 3 is 30 kN. It is acting at half of the distance. The sign convention is the same as I used earlier. Upward force is positive, rightward force is positive, and clockwise moments are positive. Let us work out ME left. Summation of moments on left side of E are equal to zero. First is 30 into 1.5. 30 is this load. This is creating moment that is anti-clockwise with respect to E. And for this reason, it is negative. And then I have this 20. 20 is again creating anti-clockwise moment with respect to E. And the distance is 2 meters, so 20 times 2. And I have HA and the distance between A and E is 4. It is creating anti-clockwise moment as well. That's why it's negative. And I have VA times 3. VA is this reaction that is creating a clockwise moment with respect to E. That's why it's positive. When you simplify this, you will get value of HA as minus 1.98. Now, what does it tell me? Why the reaction is negative? This means that my assumed direction of HA rightwards is wrong. HA is actually leftwards. So the direction of reaction will change, which makes sense because the applied load over here is 20 kN, which is rightwards. The reaction has to be equal and opposite to all applied horizontal loads. Let me now move to fourth and final part, which is calculation of HP. For calculation of HP, I will say summation of moment on right side of E is equal to zero. And I will isolate the diagram like this. And then again, this diagram can be written like the diagram on the right side. The difference here is that this 10 kN per meter load, I have worked out its total load 10 times 3, which is giving me 30 kN. Let us work out the moment Me at right side. So first is this 30 kN, 30 times 1.5. This is creating a clockwise moment with respect to E. That's why it is positive. Then I have this 10 cos 45. 10 cos 45 is again creating a clockwise moment with respect to E. And then I have 10 sine 45. It is upward load. 10 sine 45 is creating anti-clockwise moment with respect to E. And the distance between 10 sine 45 and E is 3. Then I have VB minus VB times 3. VB is vertical load. And then I have HB times 4. HB is horizontal reaction. And because this is creating a clockwise moment with respect to E, that's why it is positive. And if you simplify this, you will get value of HB as 10.95. When I have value as positive, this means that my assumed direction of HB is fine. Now, how do I know that the reactions which I have worked out, they are fine or not? I will simply sum them up. So verify summation of horizontal forces equal to zero. That will be 20. That is this load. And then the horizontal load 7.07. .07. That is negative because it is on the left. And then I have 1.98. That is HA. That is towards left as well. So that's why it is negative. And HP, this is towards left as well. So that's why it's negative. When I add this up, zero is equal to zero. This means that 
HA and HP, they are correct. And this is verified over here. With the final sketch, I will show the direction of different reactions. HA is leftwards, it is 1.98. HP is leftwards as well, it is 10.95. VA is 25.69 upwards, VB is 27.24. In that way, we have worked out reactions for this frame. Finding out reactions are absolutely critical. They tell us how much load is being transferred to the ground and also in some cases in beams they tell us that if a beam is supported on another beam it will give me reactions from one beam as point loads on the other beam thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe for more practical insights into structural engineering and beyond until next time stay curious